Hello, this is Tony Spiro, the founder of Cosmic JS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get started using Cosmic JS to manage content for your websites and applications. Let's get started. First, let's add a new bucket. We will title our bucket Website Example. And it will prompt us to install an app. We're going to start our bucket from scratch, so we don't need to install an app. So click no thank you. Now we can add a new object type. So for our bucket, an object type is a collection of objects. So this could be pages, blog posts, authors, or any other way to categorize content within your bucket. So we'll go ahead and create a new object type for our blog posts. So we'll title it posts, the plural name is posts, and you'll see the endpoint below points to our object type URL. Next, we can add meta fields for each new object in this type. So for each new blog post, I would like for us to have a headline as well as a hero image. So if you were to add any values here, that would create the default values for each post. So we want to keep those blank and just let each post have its own value for a headline and hero image. And for visibility settings, we don't need to hide the slug field or the content editor. Uh, we don't need to add localization, so we'll just skip those and we'll save our object type. So now we can go right into adding our posts. So let's go ahead and just create our blog post number one. And as you can see, we have our headlines. That's very attention grabbing. As well as we can add an image. Let's add, how about space? That works. Okay, so now we have our first blog post. So let's go ahead and save that. And there you have it. That's our new blog post. So let's say we wanted to add authors to our blog post. We have, let's say, uh, a blog that is, uh, is adding new authors and we want to be able to manage those pretty easily. So here's what we do there. We add a new object type. We'll title this author. And we will add a couple of meta fields to the author. Let's start by adding a profile image. And let's have each author have a fun little tagline. And we don't need to worry about visibility settings or localization, so let's save our object type. Now let's add a new author. So let's go ahead and add Tony. And let's upload an avatar for our first author. And the tagline is well, not me beautifully simple, make it beautifully simple. All right, and there we go. Let's go ahead and, and let's add a little content, a little bio. And there we go. Now we have our new author. And if we wanted to create more authors, we just go into our authors tab and, and create new authors. So here's where it gets interesting. We want to tie our authors to the blog post. So what we're going to have to do there is we're going to have to create a new meta field in our posts for authors. So click add new meta field. And object select is what we want to have here because 
we can select which object types to pull from. So we're basically setting uh, the meta field to point to whichever object type we would like to select the object from. So we would like to select from the author's post uh, object types. So our meta field would be author, and we'll be able to select from all of the authors in that object type. So let's save our object type. Let's go back into posts, and for blog post number one, now we have a new field for author. So we can go ahead and just select Tony and hit save. And now we have our author object tied to this blog post. Now this makes it really easy for our application to tie into this API and pull through that author and all of the author's information really easily. So on our endpoint for our first blog post, we have basically our slug title content as well as an array of meta fields. And within that array of meta fields, we have our headline, we have our hero, and now we have our author's object. So this is really an easy way to add some nested values into your object. So within our author meta field, we have some meta fields that store our profile image and our tagline. So that makes it really easy to just create your, your blog and pull through the author and uh, add any sort of metadata you want uh, just tied to that blog post. So um, very simple way to add some flexibility to your content. So that's about it for the, the basic functionality of Cosmic JS, uh, adding buckets, adding object types, adding posts, as well as meta fields. So that should get you started. Um, and in, uh, in some follow-up tutorials, I'll go into detail on, uh, on how to connect this to an application and to uh, pull through some of these values. Thanks for watching. Bye.